Hey guys, so White House Down hit the theaters this past weekend, or as I like to call it, Olympus has fallen, again, and surprisingly not as fun. That got me thinking about movie and TV presidents. So we've assembled a panel to help us figure out who's the greatest movie TV president ever. You know him from Whitest Kids You Know, and his new album, Drunk Text to Myself, is available on iTunes, Trevor Moore. Hello. From the Jordan Jesse Go podcast, the funniest guy in podcasting, Jordan Morris. And from Comedy Bang Bang, he was George W. Bush in Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo, James Adomian. So uh, we kind of broke down a bracket of the top eight presidents. Get ready to zing us on this if you think we left one out. Let's introduce some pairings and decide which in each pairing will move on. First, from Idiocracy, President Dwayne Elizondo Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho versus President Lindbergh from The Fifth Element. I like Camacho because he was a former wrestler and a porn star, yeah. and now he's president. You know, I'll make a case for Tommy Tiny Lister in The Fifth Element. If you watch that movie, his expression is always kind of annoyed. He's a consistent man. So who do we vote for? Mountain Dew. Lister. Camacho. Camacho it is, okay. Round two, a couple of lighter-hearted American presidents. Kevin Klein, Dave Kovic from Dave versus Andrew Shepard, Michael Douglas from The American President. Trevor, any thoughts on Dave versus The American President? Uh, I'm gonna go with Dave. It's a light-hearted romp about the executive branch pulling off a major fraud and lying <laughs> to the American people, but it's fun. I gotta go with Dave as well. So Kevin Klein, oh, moving on, made it to the Mount Rushmore. Our next matchup, I paired a movie president against a great TV president. David Palmer from 24 versus Air Force One's James Marshall, Harrison Ford. Wow. wow. I'm gonna go Harrison Ford because what I, I love about the Air Force One movie is that if you squint your eyes and you kind of pretend, you can imagine that it's still a Jack Ryan character. <laughs> a few years before, it was like, how dare you come in and bark at me like some dog? How dare you come in here and lecture me? How dare you, sir? How dare you come into this office and bark at me like some little junkyard dog? I am the President of the United States. And then he beat him in the next election, and now he's president. Yes. <laughs> Harrison Ford, he has more agency as a president, mm -hmm. where he's punching the guy and throwing him off the airplane and stuff. Oh yeah, takes matters into his own hands. It's totally not true, like presidents don't do that. Get off my plane. I will say this, R.E., the catchphrase, get off my plane. I think it's kind of a bad catchphrase. I know I voted for Harrison get Ford, but he's just saying what he wants the guy to do. It's the yeah. second worst Harrison Ford catchphrase behind regarding Henry's Ritz crackers. <laughs> Ritz. Get this man some Ritz crackers! Ritz. <laughs> Finally, we have Josiah Bartlett from the West Wing, Martin Sheen, against Thomas Whitmore, Independence Day, Bill Pullman, oh, not Bill uh, Paxton. I just think that uh, Martin Sheen doesn't get it because it's just such a horse president. Like, you know, it's such a good guy. Surely we can do it again, as we did in a time when our eyes look towards the heavens, and with outstretched fingers, we touch the face of God. He's, he's just too utopian, yeah. so uh, we gotta go. So we gotta go with another damn cowboy. My combat pilot, well, belong in the air. So we've established our Mount Rushmore. President Camacho, Dave, mm -hmm. Harrison Ford, and Bill Pullman. First, the semifinal round of our little president bracket here. Harrison Ford, James Marshall, Air Force One, versus Kevin Klein, Dave. I think Harrison Ford just have to, has to win by default. He actually sure. got elected. He was he the will of the people. He actually got elected. But <laughs> Kevin Klein never did a fourth Indiana Jones. That's true. Are we taking <laughs> away so are we taking away points for Harrison Ford just because of his bad choices? Yeah, absolutely. In spite of Crystal Skull, uh, Harrison Ford is the choice here. Yeah. So he That's moves awesome. on to the finals. Okay, now, uh, oh man, this is a barn burner. Thomas Whitmore, Bill Pullman from Independence Day against President Camacho, Terry Crews, Idiocracy. I think it's about time for a black president to move ahead in this in this bracket. Yeah, I'm probably going Camacho here too. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that he used to be a porn star and I think we can all agree that we would probably trust a president more if we had seen his d uh, I'm gonna go Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman saved us from damn aliens. I just think Camacho is too awesome to be denied. <laughs> Camacho's going on. Our final two, Terry Crews 
versus Harrison Ford. I th here's so, here point for Harrison Ford is mm -hmm. that he killed Gary Oldman, who is arguably the greatest movie villain of all time. He's Han Solo. He's Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's Billy Blade Runner, whatever that guy's name was. <laughs> yeah. I, um, that, oh. Well, William Blade Runner. William Blade Runner, Runner yes. sorry. He is iconic. He's the yeah. face of iconic characters. I'd vote for all three of those characters for being president. Guys, let's vote for president. I'm going to go third party and go Peter Sellers, Dr. Strangelove. <laughs> I'm, I went rogue. Uh, Jordan? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going Harrison Ford. Killed Gary Oldman. He's an accomplished man. Harrison Ford. I'm gonna go Ford. <laughs> Ford takes it, you guys. Harrison Ford is the ultimate movie president. Yes, hail to the chief. Oh boy, that was fun and patriotic. Doggone it. I wanna thank my awesome panel, James Adomian, Jordan Morris, and Trevor Moore. Check out their links in the section below. Also, gotta give a shout out to Cinema Now from Best Buy for sponsoring this week's episode. And because they're sponsoring this week's episode, we've got a sweet $25 Best Buy gift card to give away. How can you win that, you ask? Tell us who your ultimate presidential ticket would be of pop culture characters. Walter White and Jesse? Tyrion Lannister and Batman, Liz Lemon and Honey Boo Boo. Best answer, you get a $25 Best Buy gift card. That's how we roll. I want to thank you for watching Screen Junkies. I'm Hal Rudnick. Bye-bye.